Yo, what's going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? I hope you're doing all right, man. So welcome back. We're back here with a new reaction. Going to be checking out Talking Heads, all right? This song is called Psycho Killer, man. Uh, my brother actually brought this song to my attention um, a few months back. I don't remember exactly how long ago it was now, but we were out eating. Um, we, ate, we went out to eat at a restaurant. Afterwards, we're talking about like TV shows and stuff. And uh, he told me that he fell in love with this one song. I forget where he says he heard this song. He, I want to say he said it was from a TV show, um, and he played a quick sample for it. He was like, have you ever heard this one? He played a few seconds of it, and I was like, I think I think I've heard that chorus before, but I couldn't tell, uh, so I'm jumping into it, man, because I know I haven't heard this whole song before, uh, but I definitely heard the part that he showed me, um, which was a bit, uh, it was a bit of the chorus, so I don't know, uh, he heard it from a TV show, I want to say, so maybe I heard it on TV before at that same part, uh, couldn't come to an understanding of where I had heard it before, so I'm excited to hear the whole thing, man, take a listen to Talking Head Psycho Killer, man, let's go ahead and hit play and see what's up, guys. This walks in so nice. Hey. I can't seem to face up to the facts. I'm tense and nervous and I can't relax. I can't sleep cause my bed's on fire. Don't touch me, I'm a real live wire. Psycho killer. These guys got style, man. I don't care. You start a conversation, you can't even finish it. You're talking a lot, but you're not saying anything. When I have nothing to say, my lips are sealed. Say something once, why say it again? Psycho say shut your mouth. <laughs> Kiss -kiss -see. That part right here, and then...
hope and like take us back to the chorus one more time. Ah, oh, dude, good, good song, good song. That is a fun, uh, that is a fun listen. That's for sure, just a fun listen, man. Um, I hope they got more hits because if that's a one and done, uh, that's gonna be like, ouch, you know, that was a good one, man. So I'm gonna dive a little bit into them right here with Psycho Killer. All right, so we got right here, man, Psycho Killer was released in 1977 off the album. It looks like Psycho Killer. Uh, genres, new wave, no wave, funk rock, art pop, art rock, art punk. Man, these guys are all over. I love it, man. So, yeah, that's when this was released. This is Psycho Killer. is a song by an American rock band, uh, Talking Heads. Okay, I thought we were going to be from a different area. They're American rock band, it says here. Released on their debut studio album, Talking Heads, 77. The group's first performance is at the Artistics in 1974. Uh, the band also recorded an acoustic version of the song. Really? No way. Uh, an acoustic version of the song featuring Arthur Russell on cello. In the linear notes, um, for Once in a Lifetime, The Best of Talking Heads, 1992, Jerry Harrison wrote of the B-side of the single, I'm glad we persuaded Tony uh, and Lance that the version with the cello shouldn't be the only one. So it says the band's signature debut hit features lyrics which seem to uh, represent the thoughts of a serial killer. Originally written and performed as a ballad, Psycho Killer became what all music calls a deceptively funky new wave, no wave song with an insistent rhythm and one of the most memorable driving bass lines in rock and roll history, man. Uh, Psycho Killer was the only song from the album to appear on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, peaking at number 92. Oh, that sucks. So uh, I don't think the Billboard Hot 100 is uh, indicative of the level of greatness of all songs um but i guess it it's it's something right it, it shows that a lot of people gravitated to it and this was the only song that it appears a lot of people gravitated to um to make it popular on the billboard uh so lyrics the song was composed near the beginning of the band's career and prototype versions were performed on stage as early as december 1975 when it was finally completed and released as a single in december 1977 psycho killer became instantly associated uh in pop culture with the uh, contemporary contemporaneous uh son of sam serial killings okay although the band also always insisted that the song had no inspiration from the notorious events the single's release date was eerily timely and marked by uh, a macabre synchronicity okay so according to the preliminary lyric sheets copied on to the 2006 remastered of talking head 77 the song started off as a semi-narrative of the killer actually committing murders oh man so in the liner notes of Once in a Lifetime, they say, uh, let's see, David stated, When I started writing this, I got help later. I imagined Alice Cooper doing a Randy Newman-type ballad. Both the Joker and Hannibal Lecter were much more fascinating than the good guys. Everybody sort of roots for the bad guys in the movies. All right, well, I like their, their takes on this. And the French translations of what was said in the song is, What I did that evening, what she said that evening, fulfilling my hope, headlong i go towards glory okay so yeah it sounds like he's about to um commit a a, a killing uh so the french lyrics were supplied by weymouth according to france i told david that tina's mother is french and that they always spoke french in the home tina agreed to do it and just sat down and did did it in a little over an hour. I wrote a couple of more verses, and within a few hours, Psycho Killer was more or less done. All right, man, there we go with these guys, um, the Talking Heads, right? So let's see a little bit about Talking Heads, man. It says um, they were known as some other uh, groups. They, they, they went by other names in the past, but Talking Heads is what they stuck with. Their origins are out of Rhode Island and New York City. Uh, of course, their genres we went over, and they actually – stopped they went from 1975 to 1991 they had a little get together it looks like in 20 uh 2002 but that's been it man nothing since uh let me know guys let me know if there's some more hits from the talking heads or if this was just kind of a one and done man right here with um psycho killer this thing was insane that is it's gonna be hard as hop that that's a really fun uh jivey little little track right here man i really like this one a lot dude psycho killer very fun to listen to man for sure uh and one of those songs that i could probably show my kids and they would like it too right now i'm telling you that this thing is timeless it feels like uh so hopefully you guys enjoyed rocking with me here today 
I'd like to see that acoustic version at some time. Hopefully, I don't forget to come back around and do that one, man. That'd be cool. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in here today. Hopefully, you enjoyed rocking with me. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can help the channel, including becoming a member here on my YouTube, my Patreon, or donation request if you so choose, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.